Hey guys, it's Chappers. Good morning. It's morning here in England anyway. Uh, just a really cool, quick update for you about my signature amplifier, the Silverback. Now, if you don't know anything about this project, let me just briefly recap you. Um, about a year ago, in fact, maybe, actually it's more than a year ago, it must be about a year and a half ago now, Martin Kidd uh, formed a new amplifier company in Britain called Victory Amplification. And I was absolutely honoured to be approached by Martin to work with him on a signature amplifier, which is just an absolute dream come true because I think his, his work is incredible. Um, this is prototype number one. It's pretty special. Um, it took a lot of hard work to get Proto 1 to the position where we could take it on tour for the first tour I did um, a while back ago across England. And gruelingly, pulled it across um, places like Manchester and Glasgow and London and worked out that there are a couple of features I didn't need and a couple of features I really liked and so we worked on Proto 2. Now Proto 2 is not here because Martin's actually working on it as we speak to make the final product which I'm really really excited about. So this is Proto 1. Here are the features I'm keeping from Proto 1. Um, the first thing is I really like the idea of when I set the amp the way I like it, no one messes with my shit. <laughs> now some people mark things with Tipex or with marker pens or whatever, but I wanted to go a step further than that, so I guard up. So the guard, which looks like Led Zeppelin's crop circles, slots just over the front panel here so that nobody can mess with any of the settings that I've chosen. So, you know, when I've got roadies handling it, chucking it around, or stage crew, or say, for example, I'm recording, and I've got the perfect sweet spot, and I don't want someone to knock into it and just gently nudge a game uh, pot. It's perfect. Keeps it exactly as you want it to be. So, that's the first thing staying. So, just a visual thing, but something I think is also very cool, are the two side handles. The thing is, the transformer's on one side of the, uh, the cab, so... If you put a one handle on it, you've got to have it slightly off centre, which just bugs my OCD enough to make me want to have the two side handles, which are perfectly symmetrical. So we're going with the two side handles, which is cool. Uh, lastly, and this is just another visual thing, but also something I came up with, which I'm really proud of, I've got a trap door on top of the head, so that if you want to change the valves, take a look inside, you unscrew some bits, put up a trap door, and you can put your whole hand inside, Take out the valves, change them over, screw it up, job done. No undoing screws, no putting your hand into a tiny area and having an inch to pull up on a valve uh, in a dark area. You can put a torch down there, you can lift the trap door, get the valves out. It's, the gr it's a great idea, actually very practical and something that I've already used a couple of times. So, keeping the trap door, keeping the front guard, keeping the juicy rhythm tone that this produces that I really enjoy. But I found it a little bit dark. There's some features I didn't need, and so Proto 2 is voiced slightly brighter, more game, um, and I've removed some of the areas that I just didn't need, never used, to make it a little bit more cost effective. I'm really excited. I've, I've put the finishing touches uh, to what's going to be my signature amplifier. I actually bumped into Guthrie uh, while I was doing it because Guthrie's a victory as well. And Martin and I get on so well, he, he's such a, an absolute genius at understanding everything I have in my head. I mean, essentially, I must have demoed every amp you can ever conceivably imagine, maybe with the exception of a Dumble. And what this represents are my top favourite specific tones from four or five amps that I really enjoy in one box. And I've made it as little as possible to do with me. It doesn't look like a signature product. I don't want it to look like a signature product. I want it to look like a badass amplifier. So it doesn't say Rob Chapman amp on the front. It doesn't say Monkey Lord on the front at all. It's just that there's a tiny, tiny silverback logo on the bottom left. Um, and on the back, there would be my name engraved, and that's it. So I'm really happy with that. It's very exciting. Can't wait for you guys to hear it, because it sounds like the best amp I've ever heard in my life. I mean, what an opportunity to make you know, basically I can make anything I wanted to make. I took this one on the road, I took Proto 2 on the road, so I toured both the prototypes, and yeah, it can be tell I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, take it easy guys, and have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Chappers, out. <laughs>
And I actually really like the way it looks with the black and grey and the sort of slightly cream. That's a, that's a stainless steel cut logo that's been covered in cream stuff. I like it already, but do you think I should change the colours? Do you think I should have it red or blue or dragon skin like this or, or just keep it with the black? Because the black looks great. I don't really want it to stand out from the line they already have as something that's kind of really flashy. I want it to just look badass. So give me your honest opinion. What do you think the colour should be? Keep it black and grey as it is? Or maybe go for something a little bit different? I appreciate your feedback on this matter. And by the way, I'm not playing this because my amp will not sound anything like this. That's my door. See you later.